I'm Justin Turner from Orange Umbrella. Uh, we're an accountancy firm that specializes in technology. And today I want to talk about a really fantastic technology product that we've been using both ourselves and for our clients as well. And this is called Zapier. And you'll be able to see on screen that I've opened up the, the Zapier website. And uh, Zapier allows you to create automated workflows. I'm a huge fan of automation and cloud technology, but the problem you've got is you've got many cloud technologies and they don't really talk to each other. So you might have Gmail and you just, you might say, I wish my Gmail emails would do this automatically. Or you might be using a piece of software like Xero, our account software, and just say, oh, I wish I could generate a sales invoice automatically or automatically pull a purchase invoice from maybe Amazon Seller Central into Xero. Well, actually, Zapier allows you to do these kinds of things. I want to show it uh, to you in conjunction with what we do at Orange Umbrella for our, our clients and how we create automated workflows. At the heart of everything that we're doing is practice ignition. Practice Ignition is a, a piece of software on the cloud that we use to pro provide proposals uh, and it handles our letter of engagement process. Practice Ignition is really, really wonderful from our point of view because once someone clicks to accept a proposal, the software actually automatically deploys all of the jobs that we need to do for that client with the correct dates into our practice management software so and it assigns it to people as well if there's any upfront billing that needs to be done um, the software will generate the bill and put it into zero our account software however there's several things that i want to happen after that client clicks the proposal and one of the big problems we've got as a business is that we need to um organize lots of information, get information from the client. So I came up with this idea of using Zapier. So what happens is Zapier is a, a tool which detects something that is going on in a program. And I've, I've just loaded up my screen here, which shows you one of my zaps. And I've got lots of these zaps running in our business that do very different things. But here is an example, is that when a client clicks uh, to accept a proposal from us, and this particular zap is what's um, called our new client zap. So only effects for new clients. I've got uh, a filter in here. So this filter will allow me to only detect new clients. So I've got criteria in there, which basically says if, if this isn't a new client, then don't do anything. I've got uh, these various actions here, which strip out the first name and the surname because uh, Practice Ignition provides it in one um, large field. So I have to separate out that in order for my zap to work. I've got a delay in here, which I've got that in because I've got concurrent zaps running. So I need a little delay to make sure that I don't get a, a clash between my zaps. Uh, I've also got this here, which is uh, send a channel message into Slack. And I want to quickly show you that as well. So when we get a new client, one of the big problems we, we face, or we were having anyway, is um, this new client would pick up the phone. And let's say my colleague Nicola or Adam has pick up, picked up the phone. And they'd be saying, oh, hello, Mr. Bloggs, uh, who are you? Um, where we've actually been instructed maybe a couple of days before. So Slack is a messaging system that we use at Orange Umbrella. And I've just pulled up some um, at one of the Slack channels. So we have a Slack channel called New Clients. There's five of us in the team involved in this. And Zapier automatically sends some information uh, through, basically saying, well done, everyone. Uh, we've run a new client. Uh, and I've obviously just got some test data in here. But it makes the team uh, completely aware of what's going on. The team can go and view that client's proposal. Uh, and also it's in, uh, telling them to go and look at the practice manager account to see if there's any new jobs uh, for them to look at. And also for a proposal renewal, it's very, very similar. But again, it's showing the link to the proposal and asking them to look for any new jobs that they might have. Coming back to Zapier. So now my team are entirely aware I need to extract information and educate our clients about what's required. So I use a MailChimp system to create something called a drip campaign. And uh, I have a mailing list here. And what happens is the client is automatically added onto this mailing list. And it's not the type of mailing list you're thinking about. It's, uh, it's an information 
um, drip campaign where we're asking them to maybe keep a lookout for the postman because there's HMRC information going to be coming out to them in the post. Um, and it's also telling them about who to contact. But this series of emails happens over, it's actually over six days. Uh, in the first email, um, I tell them that we'll add them to a general marketing list. And I have this delay built into my zap. This delay waits for two days, uh, and then we will add them onto our general mailing list for, for Orange Umbrella. This is really to keep them informed of any face-to-face -face events we might be doing. Uh, a video like this that you're watching today, it, it will be included in our general mail out to people. We then, there's another delay, so my drip campaign has time to finish. I think that delay overall across the two delays there is uh, about seven days, and the drip campaign takes about six to um, to, to happen. I'm just going to move my uh, screen slightly. And then finally, once the drip campaign is finished, I unsubscribe the client from the, from the list as well. So... Uh, you can see that I've created an automated workflow and this might seem really, really complicated, but it doesn't need to be that complicated. Um, we can have simple zaps that maybe only have one or two steps uh, and some really popular ideas that I've got is we use a, a meeting booking software uh, and we use people who uh, sign up for, for meetings and we pull that data out into a lead management system or that could be a CRM system. It, it doesn't really matter. It's if you have bits of software that you're using in the business, in your business, I should say, and they're not necessarily pulling and talking to each other as the, the way you would want them to, then Zapier is a, a really great solution. Now, I'm talking to you as a firm of accountants here. So why is a firm of accountants telling you all of this? But actually, at the heart of all small businesses is that time is money. And creating automated workflows actually saves a huge amount of time. It saves a huge amount of money. What I haven't shown you today is the automation that you can do into account systems like Xero or using additional services such as Stripe or Receipt Bank. These, these all these common uh, accountancy packages and bits of software that you might be using in your business. And you just need to stitch it all together to, to make a more functioning uh, business model. This is going to help you do that. So, I mean, if you've got any questions, please um, drop us a message. You can find us at orangeumbrella.co.uk. Uh, we have a, a book an appointment link over here. Uh, so you're welcome to book a, a telephone appointment uh, or even a face-to-face -face appointment if you're, you're local to the area. And we'll get back to you. We, we obviously do video recordings and uh, screen shares if you, you need any help outside of our, our local area. So hopefully I'll speak to you soon. And thanks very much for watching today. Cheers. All right, bye.